Right, welcome to this review and unboxing here. I've been sent a mystery box, a mixture of stuff uh, from Joy Toy. So they have been officially licensed by Games Workshop to produce these 1 18th scale uh, models from across the Warhammer 40,000 range. It's getting very, very diverse now. So uh, I've got uh, boxes here from Imperium, Xenos and Chaos to show you here in this video. Just to give you an idea on the scale, the quality of these builds here. They're officially, officially licensed. Uh, by Games Workshop to Joy Toy, so uh, these are high-end, high-quality products uh, available here. So I'll put the links in the video description below, but it's a chance for this video to have a, an up-close view and to get a good idea of what's inside each of these boxes. So I'll make a start. I'll start with my favourite uh, out of all of these ones, is just because I'm, I'm really into Xenos and very much like my Necron army. Uh, so they've done the Overlord here with the Glaive uh, from... The 9th edition box that came out, the Indomitus box set uh, with the Necrons and Space Marines fighting each other. But that's him. We'll open this up here. Uh, one of my favourite sculpts from Games Workshop. I'm very excited to see this done uh, as a 118th scale figure. So they're action figures, but they're, they're highly collectible. I would say that the, the size difference can be extreme. Like you've got this one here, uh, Crimson Slaughter, Cow Space Marine, uh, Sorcerer Lord, and then look at the size and the box difference and the thickness as well so interesting to perhaps compare this the scale here we'll open this one up so the model comes out like so now this comes attached and we'll just move that out of the way so joy toy it's not just 40k they do action figures of all sorts of uh, different sci-fi ranges movies and films and so on so fully articulate so bending at the elbows, it's like a ball joint for the wrists, so it rotates around, a bit of give on it as well. And there is, it's a ball joint here for the head, but I'm not going to not gonna move it, and the arms go out like so. And then these parts here, just kind of, uh, there's a flex to them, but that kind of solid feel. You can see the bend there on the ankles, knee joints hip joints as well so we can get some different looking poses and the hip yeah is articulate you can see it moving and swiveling around no doubt as well yep so yeah okay so they've equipped him as as per the sculpt so he's got the tacky on arrow just there love these uh, wiry bits out here and then that's the glaive that's the detail there on the paint job which looks really good so that's the kind of quality. Nice, uh, the two tones of the metallics going on as well, you can see. So very faithful with the, the artwork as well with the paint job. There, so I've kind of posed him up pretty much how he is on the, on the artwork. Love the cables come around the back here, look at this. And then the, ha the hand's got flex on it, so you can just push it in and it will grip the weapon like so. So there's loads of rotation and different options you can go for with the, the posing of the model. There he is. Yeah, and they come with these little pre-made holes that you can uh, base them however you want to do it. Make some kind of custom base for them. That's him. So that's the uh, Zarakhan Dynasty Necron Overlord. Okay. We'll leave him out for a bit of a size comparison. He looks a bit short, I wonder, but I guess Space Marines are meant to be that much taller. We'll take a look at this Crimson Slaughter uh, Terminator Lord. He must be bigger, because there's it's a Terminator Lord here. Alright, so not hugely. You can see the height of the model stops here. There's all this space up here, so it's just really the extra accessories coming through. A huge weapon he's got across here, and the staff. Look at the length of it taking up space there as well. We'll take a look at this one. So it comes like this. These pieces, like this central apron thing here, are articulate. It's the detail on the face. The head's uh, a ball joint in there as well, so that moves. The details on the spikes here at the back. The cape. Look at the, the highlighting work done on here. It's well done, and even the, uh, the gentle highlighting done on the cape here and the damage, the wear and tear on it as well. Nice touch, nice use of metallics here on parts of the model as well. 
So it's impressive enough. The paint, the paint job on these is really good for something that's pre-painted. And look, there's the uh, detail on the staff. Again, just there. It's a good size. And then particularly impressed by this. Look at this weapon you get. It's a combi weapon because they've got a chainsaw on it as well. Very nice indeed. Size-wise, though, it's all the accessories and the staff and so on. So actually, when you line these up, there's not too much difference between them. That's to give you an idea on the size comparison for those. But it's a good a bulky one, this one. So that's the Cow Space Marine. There's another one I want to show you. There's, oh, there's a couple of Necron ones, further ones that have been sent. So we'll not get these ones out. But it's the Zerakan Dynasty uh, Death Marks. Same color scheme. Nice paint job. I just want to open this just to answer a question. Yes, you do. I was wondering if you got two. So you actually get two in the pack for this one. It's two snipers. Great. There's the detail on their rifles. Well, well, well. Put two in one pack. Nice. So I was wondering if they just shown multiple poses on the front of the box. Um, but no, they do. Yeah, it contains two. 11.3 uh, centimeter collect collector's action figure and accessories. Nice. So they've done it for that one. And then it looks like they've also done it here for the Necron Immortals, the Gauze Blasters. Accessories like so. A couple of wrist options for each one, but you'll get two inside that one. Yeah, two. So pretty good because... If you wanted to play some kind of skirmish game on a larger scale, you're getting two per pack. That's really good value. So that's stuff for the Necrons. Uh, there's one more Chaos Space Marine here, which is this one for the Black Legion. Look at that. Uh, a Chaos Lord in Terminator armor. We'll take a look at this one next. So the question I have for this one is do you get two different head options? It looks like you do. I've not seen these before, but it looks like they might be including, starting to include actual bases. There's a little plug there that you can use to stick on into the bottom of the foot, so it comes with some kind of standard base now. And again, this is a real, this is a real good job. So this is attached. Something's just dropped off. That's a spare hand. I'll come to that in a second. So again, all articulate across here with these accessories. Capes articulate and highlighted again. Great attention to detail on the spikes. So you've got a tyranid head just there. And again, oh, highlighted and painted up nicely. And then something for the Dark Angels. With battle damage as well. Nice work. Transfers. Black Legion. Nicely done on there. And there's the detail for the, for the weapon for the axe. So that'll bend round like so. And you can put in his hand across there. So yeah, there's two head options. You've got the horned Terminator helmet, just sitting there, or just at the bottom of the box, does come with the bare head option. Again, all the details, they painted the lips, they picked out the teeth, they picked out the eyes, and all the usual details on the skin as well. Yeah, nice work. Then again, this uh, combi kind of loadout for the weapon, shooting weapon. And then uh, there's four wrist accessories in there as well with that one. It's a pretty extensive set uh, for this Black Legion uh, Lord in Terminator armor. So not forgetting the Imperium, we've got two options left. This is a very thick box, this one. And uh, it's for the Iron Hands, Iron Father Ferios. Again, not all of these, but most of them seem to be coming with these bases now. Size of his axe. All right, so detail on the model here. Nice, and uh, look at the detail on the purity cells. Nicely done. I think these are detachable. So detail on the wrist. Again, they're great for these cables. Weird, real soft material, this one. See that? And soft here as well. Much more flexible than the rest. I don't know how they do that. Very strange. 
Yeah, because e even uh, the cabling here is a softer material. So fully articulate, it needs to be soft as well. See the bend on it? It needs to be at a crease. So change of materials, that's something softer. But still paintable. You see the detail on the transfers? Sculpted transfer on there. Do a real good job. And then just to give you a size comparison. So comparative, really. And then the axe is absolutely huge. Massive. Nice big double-handed axe. Uh, you also get, oh, you got a load of stuff here. This is why it's deeper. So some wrist options, three of them. And then the, oh, there's the backpack loadout. Look at that. Now this is all on a, this is fascinating. Just rotates around. You've got this flexible material for all of these cables, whichever way you're going to pose it. Yeah, this all starts to move and rotate here, and you can see the flex in the cabling on this. And here as well on this grabber. Oh, they've made that articulate as well. So it actually opens out and closes. Like so. Mightily impressed by this. And the bolt turn, I imagine that's going to swing around. Yeah, and the flexible. Very, very flexible, and yet still see the, the paint job on it. And flexible cables here as well. Even the faded out battle damage. Amazing job. And the sighting equipment, I imagine this is going to spin around, around the right way. Yeah, brilliant job. Well, well, well. Even the, the ammunition, see the casing for the bullets on the other side can be seen through there. I think that's the most impressive one that I've seen. This is incredible work. Uh, and the two two rods there will poke into the into the back of the model to fix in place, but mightily impressive. Really, really good. So that's him, mighty impressive. You can see the how he looks when he's fully set up. And all your accessories. Looks like it's all detachable as well. Parts of the backpack into three separate pieces, and then just showing you how you can be set up with that. And here. Very good. And the final one is for the Black Templars. It's High Marshal Helbrecht across here, all of his accessories. I wonder if they give you head options on this one as well. There's a big weight to this one. Again, they've included a base. And I think we're looking at some real good detail coming up here. And it looks like they've gone for two head options as well. I'll just take out the main, the main model first of all. The detail on him is incredible. So yeah, flexing the ankles, the knees. Oh, that's okay. Yeah, it's a ball joint, so that can be, can be pushed back into position. I'll do that in a moment. Detail here. Yeah, real good detail. And these purity seal type things. All these accessories across here. Purity seals. Detail on the cape, paint job on the shoulder pads, the helmet, it's a transfer, rotating rounds the cape there, just fits in there, the backpack would hold that in place, but all the detail here. And then you also get one of these, I'm not sure what that is, we'll maybe see in the Artwork on this, the weapon he's carrying, combi weapon again, real nice work. And a couple of wrist options, two extra wrist options. There's detail on the backpack, absolutely glorious. Beautiful work, it's just transfers on here. And then the sword as well. Very good. Can't fault these, they are exceptionally well put together. So we'll, we'll put them back together again. So it looks like uh, an accessory that goes around the wrist and dangles down, something like that. But there he is, loaded out. It's an insane amount of detail in this model. With the back posed up like so, or you can go for the bare head option there as well with him. 
and all the accessories you know, for help for the Black Templars. So that's the unboxing. Just to give you a, a, it's a wide variety this time: Imperium, Chaos, and Xenos. Uh, I'll put some links in the video description below. But Joy Toy have said to me that their stuff's available all over the world now, so you can wherever you are, you can just do a simple Google search, and it'll bring up uh, whoever's selling it near you. Uh, so you can get a hold of these from all sorts of different places like uh, eBay, different online stores, and so on. They're now widely available, and the range is getting very diverse for these as Joy Toy expand out and cover the different factions, getting these sculpts done. But they're mostly impressive. The, the detail on them is fantastic. Uh, the, the build of them as well, the use of different materials to get that flex uh, when needed is excellent. They're very poseable indeed, highly collectible. Uh, so, you know, if I was... I was into these, I'd like painting the same painting Necrons at the end as a reward for painting the whole army up when I reach 2,000 points. I could get myself one of these just as a little trophy and a little mascot uh, to go along uh, with the army. It's kind of a thing you could aim for uh, to have one of those uh, as a reward for painting the army up. Something like that would be a good idea. Uh, but it's all sorts of different options, different ways uh, they can be used as gifts and so on. But that's the review. Keep a lookout for more unboxings on the channel. Thanks for watching. Tune in next time.